So I have another grouping of uh, actors that I met in all different situations, but they were all on a show together. And that is the cast of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Mm. Um, I think my first encounter, you know, I spent many years going to a smaller Comic-Con, Wizarding World Comic-Con, not the San Diego Comic-Con in Austin, which was really cool because you, it was much easier to get kind of up close and personal with the actors. And so I pretty much saw uh, so many characters from uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer there, Spike and Drusilla and Glory and Xander and Charisma Carpenter. Um, I saw all of those guys. It's so funny. Four of them I gave their character names, and one I gave a real name. Which Charisma one Carpenter. Of she gets not to- like the other. I, that was the one I knew. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. Like just seeing them so close, being able to get pictures of them and not have to pay the like forty dollars where to take a picture with them that you have to do at those events. Um, but I had a couple that I had just really cool encounters with, well, in my opinion. Um, one of them is Seth Green. I've been a huge uh, Seth Green fan. Yeah. I, like, you know, a lot of people don't even realize, I know that you do, that Seth Green was in Can't Buy Me Love. He looked so different as a kid. You don't even realize it's him. But he has a quote in that movie where he says, boy, I see no boy here that I've said for like 30 years. So it was really fun to get to meet him. And I was a, a fan of Oz and a fan of uh, Can't Hardly Wait and just a lot of stuff that, that Seth has been in over the years. Oz the character, not the TV show. Yeah. Um, so when I was working at Fox, I was lucky enough to get to work on a show, Dads. And I say lucky enough because I actually did like that show, even though everyone else in the world hated it. Um, so I had run-ins with the cast multiple times. And Seth was just the coolest dude. And, like, if you follow him on Twitter or Instagram and you see the stuff he posts, he's, like, this comic book nerd and, like, a fan of everything. And his wife is super down to earth. It was like that when I met them. She was in the green room with me or the kind of the VIP area watching the show. And I was just kind of observing her and she's so down to earth and like not acting like she's anybody special. And um, after the taping, the second time I'd been there, I had a big group of Fox affiliates with me. And so they got to go down and have pizza with the crew. And I mean, he took a picture with everyone, chatted with everyone, took this selfie. We're like, he's in the front and everybody's in the background. Just spent so much time like entertaining people. And it, it was just like a sign of a true professional, like someone who's acted their whole life and, and knows how important it is, one, to have these fans, but two, how important it is to them to like get to meet you. And so as we've talked about before, that was just one where I was even more impressed with him as a person. Um, I also, on the same lot, um, on the same Fox lot, ran into um, Allison Hannigan because she was in um, How I Met Your Mother, taking her kids over to the daycare with her husband, who was also on Buffy. Yeah. And it was just one of those where you just randomly, like, not literally smack dab into them, but I'm just, like, walking, and then there's this couple, and you're like, hey, how's it going? Like, have a good day. And then you're like, that was Allison Hannigan. Like, just kind of crazy and then when Buffy was shooting the crazy ones with um uh Mork oh yeah Robin Williams Robin Williams thank you that was kind of like one that I really wanted to see on the lot and I used to take uh walks a lot of my break and so I had gone for a walk and I was kind of coming down the aisle where there's the a few different studios that she shot in one of them sound stages and I'm coming down and there's this uh, golf cart coming towards me. And I mean, I just could, I, I literally was staring directly. I couldn't stop staring directly at her. She was with her assistant. She was kind of like planning out her day and saying when she was going to go pick out her kids. And I'm just flat out staring at her. And she either didn't care because she's used to it or didn't even notice because she's so used to it that she's just like going about her business. But it was funny because I just couldn't, that's not that's uncharacteristic of me. Like I usually am like, yeah, hey, what's up? Like with Allison Hand again, but I just hey, stared at first. Sarah Michelle Gellar. Do you actually get but the best, you know, the best Buffy the Vampire Slayer um, appearance or star crossing was David Boreanaz. And I'd already actually met him and taken a picture with him at uh, South by Southwest, I guess. Yeah. And this was again on the lot and they used to do these cookouts for certain things. Like it was uh, the first day of MLB season. So I'm kind of waiting on hamburger. They're like on the grill and they were playing, it's getting hot in here. So I'm just having fun on my break with like my uh, colleagues and it's like, it's getting hot and I'm dancing. And all of a sudden I hear like the guys behind me, I was still relatively new to this job, clearing their throats very loudly. Like, 
So I'm like, okay, obviously someone's trying to get my attention. So like turn and right over here is David Boreanaz also dancing to the song. So then I just kind of turned to him and I'm like, so take off all your clothes, like whatever. So we're dancing and you know when it goes with a little bit of, uh, uh, and a little bit of, he came over and like bumped my hip and I was like, holy shit, this job is awesome. I'm going to say you got to second base. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> right. Was no, me and Angel. the hip bumping. That's second base. H boost. Yeah. So I don't really know on. the bases, but I'm going to go ahead and put that on second base. Okay. I'll take it. Congrats. 